Hi Trent, um, I thought I'd shoot you a quick movie about a few new features in this shopping cart. Um, just because I know you want to have a play with it over the weekend and I thought maybe uh, if I just give you a little bit of a heads up on how some of the things work um, so you could play with it over the weekend and then maybe reduce the training time next week. A lot of these features in the, res in the um, shopping cart are new. This is a new version of the shopping cart so we don't actually have our tra don't actually have our help and um, video tutorials done so any questions you may have will have to be handled by emailing the office or in a training session so log into the system you'll have these login details um, in the email that I send you uh, this is the dashboard I'm going to send you, I'm going to give you a little bit of a heads up on how the products work we know you have a lot of products and setting products up and variations etc. So on the uh, left hand side you'll see the products. I'm going to start with listing the types of products. We've set up an example which is a skate. So this area here is like the template for the product. We've currently got 43 products in there. Select modify. Um, obviously the name of the product type, the fields. This field, if you were to add a field here, this field would be, um, it would show up on every product that you're adding into the system. So for example, if you wanted to show different material types and you wanted it to be select as an option and maybe the different t uh, material types were leather, plastic, and metal. If you added that, um, that then is going to have the option on every product that you set up. Underneath that is we've set up the two variations, the size and color. Um, we've set up size first because we believe people are going to want to choose their size and then color. But if that's not the case and you wanted to set up color first, just switch them around, delete them, add color first, add size second. You'll see we've left the values next to each one uh, blank. We're not 100% sure if, if there's some sizes that are relevant to every product type. Remember the product type we're working on at the moment is skate. So if large was a size for every skate or every product within the product type called skate, then you'd add that there comma separate it with the next one. We're leaving it blank. When you add the products, you'll then, <coughs> excuse me, be able to choose that also for color. Underneath it, uh, you'll see uh, this is the text box and this could be templated information. You'll see these little squiggly lines and tags which are across the top, which is your list of tags. So what will appear here is the actual description in the parent template. So when you add a product, the first product that you add will be the parent, then the variations underneath it are the children. An example of this here is if I select a product. So this here is the parent description, which is controlled here. Okay, if you wanted to add something that was relevant, like a special or an image that wanted to appear on every product under this product type called Scape, um, display on every product, would enter it there. So if I save that, have a look at this display on every product. Now if I had chosen a variation it won't show because the variation is pulling from a different template which is the one underneath. This is a variation template. Um, this is a test just to show you that it's working. Um, I'm going to save this page. And this was the, remember, this is the template for variation, which was here. The other template is your product information, which was here. 
This information is configured within the product type in the administration panel, which is this here. So if you wanted to um, choose, show your sizing, this is where we've suggested you show your sizing here, which would be on the template for every product. So that's the product template. Um, I don't think that you have, I'll just show an example of how we set up the material. Uh, sorry, the material has now been set up, so we're going to go and add a product. I'm going to select Skate, and you'll now see that material is an option there. If I don't choose, it's gone. Material is an option, and these are the ones we set up. I know you don't have material as an option, so I'm going to go back to list types, modify, delete that. Modify the page or save the page. Add product, select skate, and there's no option there for it. So let's add a product. I'm going to choose the brand. The brands are controlled through the brand section here. So everything to do with products is under the products tab. Crazy Derby collection. Or you can add a brand there. Test Crazy Derby. Add the SKU, add the model. They're not compulsory. Stock level fixed stock level or infinite, I'm going to have infinite. This is, is the product summary. I'm going to add the description for the product. This is the product's description, if I could spell. <laughs> Wait, weight and price are compulsory, but you can set them as zero. So I'm going to give it at 2.5 kilos, and I'm going to set it at $234 and the recommended is 300. Your categories, categories are set up under categories and remember your categories control across the top here. So you can add and remove categories. Um, you can't add any more than what's there now but if you remove them you can add them, you can change the categories, change the images. Again that's controlled through your category section. I'm going to select it as Derby Status, you can have a featured product which display on the home page. Top deal is not relevant to your, uh, to your templates, but we can add that later on. Shipping not applicable or and disable the product. Have shipping advice, normally shipped within five working days. Uh, you can control this under the shipping heading here. Um, you can select media, which we can handle later on. Now your variations here, okay? So we've got a variation for size. So let's say the size was small, medium, large, and it came in pink, blue, and black. We're gonna add this product now, and it has now added all the variations. So setting up the products with all the variations should be a little bit easier. Um, but obviously, we, you know, to handle those uh, variations that you wanted, we may need to make some modifications to the system if you do choose to invest in that later on. Um, we can also, from this list of products, if I was to delete the small, it would delete all the variations underneath it. Okay, I can modify the small. Um, now, I'm modifying... If I just, here's some standard information that we had before, um, but the weight and price, you can add and remove uh, pr information, add an, sorry, add and remove weight and price to those products. So if I wanted to um, change the price, if I wanted to increase it by $3 for the, all the variations of that small, I could, do that now. This products small was now uh, $237 and all the others were $234. So that's why this product has been increased by $3 or if you wanted to minus it by $3 for, for, that, for that product small and all the variations or if you wanted to do it equals it's only $3. Select that. You're going to list the products and the small is only $3.
So remember we said before, if you wanted to set up the color as the top level and then have the sizes underneath it, you'd have the color there and then the sizes underneath it. So I hope that makes it a little bit easier to uh, play around with setting up the products because we know you've got a lot of products to set up. So I uh, will be in contact with regards to training uh, and just please follow some other instructions that I have in the email for you. Thank you.